I had a question about vertex form of a parabola. So I want to just go ahead and take a look here. Um, my first equation, y equals a parentheses x minus h to the second power plus k, is a, the equation of a parabola in vertex form, which means the vertex is in the equation already, and that comes from h and k. So our vertex, when we're in this form, is h comma k. So we'll take a look at an equation with some numbers so we can take a look. So in this case, our vertex is going to be 2 comma 5. So when I take a look at my parabola, this is a quick sketch. Um, my leading coefficient is negative. That's like your a right here. So I know my parabola is going to go down, and the vertex is at 2 and up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So over 2, up 5. There's my vertex. So my U shape is going to then go down from there. Um, so that's your vertex. We had some questions about how to find the y-intercept and the x-intercept. So we'll take a look from here, from this equation. The first thing we're going to do is expand our parentheses, or take x minus 2 to the second power. When we do that, we're really saying, hey, take x minus 2 and multiply it by x minus 2. Take the base and write it twice. From here, we do some of that double distribution. So we end up with x squared minus 2x minus 2x and then plus 4. Our middle two terms simplify. So we've got x squared minus 4x plus 4. And then let's plug that back into our equation up here. I'm going to move over here. Um, so we had negative 2 parentheses. Now we have this trinomial x squared minus 4x plus 4. Finish off your equation with that plus 5. we got to keep simplifying. Now we're going to distribute that negative 2 to everything in parentheses. So we'll end up with negative 2x squared my, uh, plus negative times negative is positive. 8x, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, and then we have plus 5. So now our equation should look like y equals negative 2x squared plus 8x, and negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. If our equation is in this form, which is called standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we should remember that the c is your y-intercept. So when I'm graphing, I know my y-intercept is equal to 3. So, I'm sorry, in this equation, negative 3. Put that negative sign in there, right, right from here, negative 3. So I'm going to drop down on my graph. Again, it's just a little sketch. My y-intercept is here at negative 3. One thing I can do, I'm going to put a, little, a couple more lines in here. We know our vertex is at 2 comma 5, so that also means that this is like our axis of symmetry. So my y-intercept was over two spaces to the left of my axis of symmetry, so I'm going to move over two spaces to the right. So I've got three points now, but we are still looking for our, our x-intercepts. And we know we can find our x-intercepts through factoring. And we can find them through factoring through this form here, that standard form of the equation.